closing ceremony for a European Union-funded project promoting and protecting the economic, social and cultural rights of Maya women in this district was held at Cotton Tree Lodge in rural Toledo. Guest speaker was former Executive Director of SATIM, Governor General of Belize, Her Excellency Dame Froyla Salam. It did not matter what your background is, as I too was told by my village that I did not need land as I was a woman and I was not a farmer. There is a stereotype in the Maya villages and elsewhere that the right to land is based on usage and occupation. Fishing and hunting access rights are not seen in the same way as the agricultural use of land. So for women who are not farmers and only made handicraft, for instance, as many women do in Toledo, those rights were never formalized and led to powerlessness. It was apparent that customer governance had to be strengthened for women and other vulnerable groups. I don't want customary law to become romanticized, for I saw how it was used to entrench the interests of the local elites. Moreover, the continuous brush off by the village leadership of the Maya woman led me to conceptualize this project. And the questions I began asking were, how could Maya women access power to protect themselves and their families? And how could this empowerment be formalized within the Caribbean Court of Justice's consent order on Maya land rights, for example? It was clear that these women were not powerless just in one area, but in all areas that affected their livelihood. Another guest speaker was Minister of Human Development, Families and Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Honorable Dolores Balderamos Garcia. It's so wonderful to be here at Cotton Tree Lodge in the Toledo district outside of San Felipe to participate with the Maya women who were in the EU-sponsored SATIM project for mapping, for uh, making sure that they can use the GPS, um, talking about rights and responsibilities, um, learning. And uh, you could see that there it was a wonderful learning experience. So we, of course, we want to thank the EU sponsors and SATIM as the Sarstun Temash Institute for Indigenous Management, working with the ladies to make sure that they can build up those skills. And I'm so very proud of all of them. You could see from um, um, Ms. Rosa Teol and Ms. Paulina Akte that they are they are leaders. They, you can see that the leadership qualities have come out in them. And it is so important, not only for the knowledge of rights of Maya women and indigenous women, but also to learn to and to, to get involved in the participation in the village affairs, in the family life, in the work of the community. And I think the Governor General made a nice message too that it is so important to be at the table. Because if you're not at the table of decision making, decisions can be made for you without your involvement. Other speakers included Commissioner of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Greg Chok, as well as project beneficiaries, Rosa Teol and Paulina Ak, and Elvia Bo, who expressed gratitude and closing remarks to all those who made the project a success and reality. Reporting for Love News from Cotton Tree Lodge in Toledo, I am Paul Mahone.